Osborne House is a large and charming royal palace on the Isle of Wight, a small island off the south coast of England. It's one of the best-known houses in the country, famous for its Italian-style architecture, elegant rooms and incredible works of art. But it's most famous for its original residence, Queen Victoria and her family. Queen Victoria is one of the most famous monarchs in British history. She was born on the 24th of May, 1819. She became queen in 1837, when she was just 18 years old, and reigned until she died in 1901. In 1840, she married the German Prince Albert, and it was Albert who first decided to build Osborne House in 1845. At the time, the royal family lived in Buckingham Palace in London. It was a beautiful and impressive palace, but they had very little privacy in the capital. So Albert built Osborne House as a holiday home for his wife and children. The Queen loved Osborne House immediately. It was in an incredible location with stunning views over the River Solent to England. And unlike other royal palaces, which were often used for business, Osborne House was a family home. This is the first floor of the household wing. The family's bedrooms were here, and Victoria and Albert had their own living rooms, where they could read, relax and play music together. In the evenings, the family often spent time together here, in the small but cosy greeting room. They ate in the magnificent dining room, which was on the ground floor of the household wing. And when they had guests, they spent time here in the spacious state room. Outside the house, the gardens were beautiful. Albert planted lots of trees here, and there were many rare plants from all over the world. The family spent a lot of time outside, and Victoria adored the Isle of Wight. After all, it was much more peaceful and far less lively than the centre of London. The royal family enjoyed some of their happiest times at Osborne House. And when Albert died in 1861, Victoria continued to come here, remembering her beloved husband in the house he had designed. In fact, it was in Osborne House that Queen Victoria died in 1901. Over a century later, Victoria is still one of the most influential monarchs in British history. Today, the Queen of England, the King of Norway, and the King and Queen of Spain are all descendants of Victoria and Albert. Osborne House doesn't belong to the royal family anymore, but it has been beautifully restored and is now a popular tourist attraction. Visitors come here to experience how the royal family lived. They can see the luxury they enjoyed and admire the beautiful objects they owned. But Osborne House also reveals the personal side of the royals, bringing their intimate family life alive. Osborne House might not be a royal palace today, but it still represents the Victorian era and is a monument to the Queen herself. It shows that over a hundred years after her death, Queen Victoria still fascinates people in Britain and all over the world.